Hello everybody. Today I got something special for you. So uh, first off, want to thank you for coming back for another Let's Look At. Today we're going to be looking at a special, uh, a special little number here. Um, actually, I've never even glanced at this comic book um, in its uh, in its entirety. I've merely seen um, panel screenshots uh, on Facebook on. Uh, Mateo Scalera's Instagram. Um, I've seen fan art, and I've I've just heard about it in the background. This story is called Dead Body Road. There's the cover there. I was almost certain this was a book by Sean Gordon Murphy when I had first seen it, just due to the art style. But it's not. Uh, it's not Sean Gordon Murphy at all. It's Mateo Scalera, who is one of my all-time new favorite comic book artists hailing from Italy uh, brings the European style to the American comic book pages stretching 11 by 17 and uh, oh boy does this book look like a lot of fun so this came out in 2014 if I'm not mistaken uh, it doesn't say here but it did it came out in 2014 here we go. Let the ride begin. Yeah. Yeah, so Mateo Scalera, from what I can tell, uses a brush to do all his inking work. Look at this stuff, guys. I mean, I've never even looked at these pages before. Oh, yeah. I love the way the artists work on these pages between the uh, the finished artwork and the inks and then the um, made to look like watercolor digital painting style over top of it this is what my comic books gotta look like you know what I mean look at these colors hell yeah hell yeah first first splash panel <laughs> Oh, this is really good. So if anybody's uh, looked at Matteo Scalera's artwork, um, you know exactly what you're getting into. Uh, all of his characters have dynamic poses and, you know, proportions to their body shapes, their facial uh, expressions, and uh, the designs in the characters themselves are, you know, they're, they're rooted in... Um, anatomical structure as you can see but they're all kind of cartoony it's honestly and I, I think that's what gives a good comic book character and a good comic book edge is having that uh, is having that look you know you, you see so many American comic books with superheroes the, the artwork super tight you can almost you can almost hand pick artists that ha that have all similar styles it's funny you go back and you look at their lives and uh, and the things they've done. Let's take David Finch for an example. You look at his artwork, and it's it's pretty amazing stuff. But if you compare it to Jim Lee or Mark Silvestri, you can see they all draw similarly, right? And then you got a guy like Matteo Scalera, and they come out of nowhere seemingly, and they draw like this and. I'm still trying to find the root of uh, of who developed this this type of style, where you have, you know, traditional like a traditional comic book character, you know. So like this this guy right here, he's got the angled eyebrows, he's got the boxy jaw, he's got the square chin, he's got the muscular frame. Yet it's all drawn so loosely, it looks like a sketch. It's not tight like a David Finch or Mark Silvestri or Jim Lee drawing, you know what I mean? This this the energy that these guys pack in their artwork, like the European style, I guess it is, is looser and not so predicated on being so so tight, you know? To me it it begs for so much more for me <laughs> It begs a lot of interest. 
I'm not even reading these pages. I'm just kind of looking through the panels, appreciating the storytelling. I'm a huge Matteo Scalera fan. You know, in, in the future, we'll go over some of his black science uh, artwork that he's done. And I also want to do Space Bandits, the last uh, little epic he did with Mark Millar. Mark Miller. God, I love this stuff so much. Yeah, Matteo Scalera and Sean Gordon Murphy really nail this this art style, or this inking style, rather. And uh, from what I can tell, it's in the last 10 years, more and more artists are coming out producing their own pencils and inks. And this is, I think this is the only route to go. You create all the art, you get a colorist. If you can write it too, you are a comic god in today's uh, in today's world and you can be a successful indie artist that way mind you these guys are all all linked up with all the right publishers uh, I believe Matteo Scalera at the moment is still working on black science and um, and he's doing a, a short run for Sean Gordon Murphy's uh, White Knight at this very moment uh, yeah, and Sean Gor uh, sorry, and Matteo Scalera's uh, uh, rendition of the Joker and Batman is fantastic. God, oh, I love it! 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 And I've looked at so many comics over the years, you know, and they, you know, you ask yourself after you've been looking at them for so long, you know, is it necessary to pack all that detail? I mean, look at the detail in this book compared to the last one I showed you, which was uh, um, The Undertaker, or even the one before that, Hard Boiled, you know? The detail in this is, it's like a, it's like an inked sketch at, at, when it's in its final rendering, you know? Everything's so broke apart, you can see, you know, like blotted ink everywhere, you can see... The scratchiness and unevenness of the speed lines, you know, from the way it's scanned into the computer. The energy. I, I'm i obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with it more than making my stuff look super duper cool. It's like the energy is... It makes these comic books something completely different than what I grew up experiencing. my anyway we'll go for 10 minutes here and then I'll shut it down let's just keep looking through there's a specific panel from this book that I would love to stumble upon because it's the one that drew me into it in the first place oh yes I just I just soak this stuff in. I have to. I just have to sit here and soak it all in so that I have a mind to do something even slightly as epic to my work someday. Wow. The smoke, the speed lines, the cars in motion. I mean, he's using wide single panels here, guys. Look at this. Wide, 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 boom. You ever try drawing a composition in a wide single panel? You you feel like you, you don't have a lot of room to draw. But look at this. He makes it work so well every time. So like, you know, as much as I sit here and I talk about brushes and ink styles and you know the design of the page and playing with composition within every panel and how they work within unison of the page leading your eye to the next panel that's just as much of a task as getting the characters to look a certain way and 
getting the style to look. I mean, it's such a process drawing comic books. People really don't understand how hard it is. Even when you break it down simply, like this guy seems to. This this may look simply drawn, but there's a lot going on here. This guy is a master. He's only a few years older than I am. Which makes me think, what have I been doing with the last ten years of my life? I believe Matt S Mateo Scalera got started when he was in his late or mid twenties, so it would have been late two thousands. He would have got picked up, and I didn't really start seeing his stuff until Black Science. And I can't remember what it was that what got me into Black Science, whether it was Rick Remender writing it or whether it was just the art style jumping out because it looked like a really cool sci-fi epic, you know? Man. Take cues, people. I Man, I got so many other artists I got to dig out. That they, they all kind of do this style really well, you know? Uh, another one is the artist um, who worked on Black Sad. I'm going to do a video on him soon. Uh, he's got a Spanish name that I cannot recall off the top of my head and I cannot uh, pronounce from memory, from recollection. Yes, look at it. Tilting the angle of the camera almost every time, just ever so slightly. Nothing's ever flat on. Look at this. The coffee in the face, the reaction, the girl's reaction, her body angled facing uh, the, the panel in the bottom left corner. His hand holding the knife, pointed towards the next panel, where Buddy takes a shot, smashes uh, smashes the girl in the face, bringing you right out of the page, you know? And then right back into it with his hand on Buddy's throat. Man, this is good stuff. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, that's perfect. I'm leaving it right on that note. Look at that panel. We didn't read a single thing, but we got a lot of information there. Okay. Mateo Scalera, Dead Body Road by Justin Jordan. Okay, JJ and MS. Go get it right now. I'll link it in the description. This is volume one. I'm going to read this, and then we'll all talk about it later. What an epic looking book. Okay. Thanks for stopping in, people. Always a pleasure to share this stuff with you. Uh, just trying to keep myself pumped up about comic books here while I produce my own and and uh, and create more content for you guys to enjoy. All right. Mateo Scalera, he's one of the best. Go check his stuff out if you want to take in some really fantastic comic book artwork. Okay? Have a great day. I'll check you next time. Thanks.